guys, it's Lisa. I just want to put you on notice that I may be talking about a certain time program called Cat File of Facts. So it's the 30th of April, so I'm no longer going to use this. So I'm just moving it out, um, in particular the planner part. And the rest of the inserts will be converted to an A5 size. So um, I'll just show what I did with this planner. I've been using it for the whole of um, uh, March and April. Okay, um, Holborns are my favorite. It is my one true love file of facts. I just wanted to make that clear because of its pockets. So I love the pockets. You have one there, here, and you have the vertical pockets. I don't use them all, I just keep pretty things so that when I open my fellow facts, I'll be greeted with this beautiful um, layout. And so I put the dash, um, this is the dashboard. I used to have a code there, but it it um, blocks my ultimate lists. Well, my ultimate list is not blocking my beautiful paper, so, but never mind, you can see bits of it. So you, this one used to be here. But it blocks it out, so I put it down here. So I have two things to motivate me every day. So this is a frosted divider. I I love this paper. So this is from Emmy Tangerine, and I stuck this on. So to remind me, you have so many things to do, but in the end, you just have to try your best. Okay, so um. Let me get to it. So this first part is my um, 2015 at a glance kind of insert. Let me just fold it out. Okay, so oops, you can see the whole year at one glance. Sorry about the mess there. Um, okay, so I printed it this late. So since I started in April, I just um, forget about April and I started planning for the rest of the year and I plan for 2016 what am I going to do is blank at the moment okay so maintenance um, weddings birthdays that goes there um, these are project lists that's still empty at the moment so I'll just skip to the planner part so I made this sticker for me um, but I haven't used them yet this is new I just added month on two pages um, to my planner right bef like last week um, three weeks into my planning uh, I if I recall I started my weekly I remember when I used this I yeah I got tired of using my um, what was I using before? Oh, my uh, field notes uh, thingy. And then I was using a file of facts just for lists. But then I have so many things to think of and I just said, uh, just one binder for everything. So I rehauled everything and then I started to design this one. See, because I put new inserts, I designed this insert and I printed it and punched it and actually started planning with it on the 9th of April. So, this was my first week using it. And I only made this month of two, month on two pages, just literally a few days ago. But I made it, I decorated it for March already. Um, so I've put in my friend's wedding and the public holidays. So I'll just skip to, back to the weekly pages. So this is my first week, as I mentioned. I was using my Typo Shop Pen. It bleeds or shadows badly, as you can see right at the back. You see there. So yes, um, don't use this pen on really thin paper. I thought this were like really nice, um, but this is 80 GSM paper. So um, just be careful of using that pen. So I ended up not using it ever again in my planner. So um, 
that's how my weeks went. I only decorated these pages. And then I got lazy. And then I was demotivated on using this planner right this way. Um, this is the, uh, you know, 26. I've already like, but I've been tracking very well. So I love this part of the planner. I just bring it just to tick off this part and also to use this to take pictures of my um, April monthly challenge which I keep stuck on my um, removable uh, page marker thing that I made so it, it, it lives there so I keep it every time I move this thing so um yeah so this is 29th I've moved out completely of this I don't use it anymore but I just want to show you how I've been using it so moving on this the next section is the getting things done I haven't worked on this session but it's supposed to be um, next action what what I need to do but currently I'm just tracking what I've bought and what I need to wait for in terms of shops and this is why I need to carry this planner permanent list so um, why I keep talking about permanent list these are things I refer to a lot a lot a lot so for example my life goals to remind me my long-term vision so um, 2015 goals it's very not pretty I'm, I need to put it up but since I'm moving this to a new um, A5 size, I have a chance to use more washi tape and pretty things to put it up. So for example, my books, um, movies to watch, bucket list, I want a bunch of jumps and so on, traveling, learn something, Adobe Illustrator, yes, I do want to learn that. Oh, my favorite page, stationary wish list. Yes, of course, you all love this page. <laughs> So, favorite Instagram, home decluttering projects. I don't look at this like all the time, but I'm glad that whenever I need to like refer something, it's here. And then the next is the address book. I'm not going to show that. And the end. And this is like my NaNoWriMo notes. I want to do NaNoWriMo this year. And so that's it. I am very sorry that I need, I'm moving out of this Holborn, really. I love this. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about my Poké Holborn. So goodbye for now. Bye.